Hey everybody, welcome to Noah's. Today we're going to talk about something kind of interesting. Um, yes, another Tube Screamer style pedal, but this one's actually quite unique, I think. This is the Cornerstone Antique, and uh, it's a pretty sweet pedal, and it's pretty unique because of the fact that even though it's a Tube Screamer style pedal, which we all know, um, it has a mid switch right in here um, where you could uh, mid push or not mid push the guitar signal. And then it also has tone and presence, unlike usual two screamer style pedals, just having tone. Um, you can kind of control the fizziness of it with this tone and presence combination. Um, I think it's a pretty versatile two screamer style pedal. Um, it's on my personal board because I heard it and I was just totally blown away. We're excited to carry these at Noah's just because of the fact that they're just unique in a way. Um, in a world full of Tube Screamer style pedals, and there are many that are really good, um, many that are not so good, but there are few that are unique. So I'm really excited to show you guys this today. Uh, in the track that you heard in the beginning, I had a setting, more ryth rhythmic setting style, a little less gain, and then I pushed the gain and pushed the mids, and you can hear how the pedal just sings. It, it really does sing. So today, besides that first track that you heard with this pedal, I'm going to uh, just do a little bit of a comparison with this pedal, the king of all green pedals, which is the JHS Bonsai, which is every single Tube Screamer ever made. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into this. Let's plug up the Strat again and go through these two and hear the unique tones of the Cornerstone Antique. Alrighty then, so let's listen to this pedal. So I'm going to start with the cornerstone. I'm going to put everything basically at 12 o'clock. And like I said, we're going to use the bonsai as reference. We're not going to go through all the sounds of the bonsai because they are many. Um, but I just thought that it'd be cool to put the cornerstone together with a more typical Tube Screamer style pedal, which is what the bonsai is. It's basically just a recreation of a bunch of the Tube Screamer pedals that we know and love. So I'm running through an AC30 and I'm using a two mic technique in this vocal booth that I have and uh, this is my clean sound. Now let's hear the cornerstone. the way this pedal sounds. I think the best way to describe it for me, it's like a like a hi-fi, I would say like a hi-fi Tube Screamer sound. Um, just without the mid boost, I love it just like that. But let's try and click on the mid boost and see how it changes. Right away you can hear that very typical razor blade cut through the mix type of sound that Tube Screamers give that we know and love. So with that being said, I'm going to dial in a sound here with the Bonsai that I thought was pretty similar. I'm going to put the tone in the drive at 12 o'clock as well and uh, basically just have a little bit more volume just to match the volume of the Cornerstone. So let's do the Cornerstone first. Banzai. So you could hear that they're pretty similar sounding. Of course, you know, it's a Tube Screamer style. But watch what happens when we start turning the presence knob and the tone knob combination on the cornerstone. So let's start with the presence knob. Tone. 
way you could see with that combination of the tone and the presence, you could really manage that shrilly high thing. Um, sometimes it's you might have a really dark amp and you might want a little bit more of that. Um, I think it's great that you can kind of tame it a little bit better with the cornerstone. So just to give you an idea, a reference, let's go back to the bonsai and see what happens when we turn the tone knob up. Okay, so we're cheating a little bit because we're using a Keeley modded Tube Screamer sound on the bonsai. Let's go to a more typical Tube Screamer sound, say 808. Now you see with the cornerstone, I have the tone all the way up as well as with the bonsai, but I have the presence in the middle. So now what I'm going to do with the cornerstone is I'm going to turn the presence up all the way and uh, have the tone all the way as well and see what we get out of that. Now the bonsai. Both of them sound great, but they address the high frequencies in a completely different way, um, which I really like that about the cornerstone, how they were able to give us two options there. So let's run the cornerstone one more time again with both the presence and the tone, but this time I'm going to turn the tone all the way down and keep the tone all the way up on the Tube Screamer 808 sound from the bonsai. So that's basically it. There's so many other things that we could go through, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview and a quick demonstration of the Cornerstone Antique versus a very typical Tube Screamer sound. And uh, we're really excited to be working with Cornerstone and carrying their brand here in the shop. And we're looking forward to you coming here and listening to it for yourself. It's pretty amazing. Um, it's on my board and it's probably going to stay on my board for quite some time. So thank you for watching this edition of Noah's, my personal review on the Cornerstone Antique, a unique rendition of the Tube Screamer that we know and love. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.